above the mouth of the Salton. Got two fish up here today, both cromers, one seven pound hen, one 10 pound hen, one on a baby wiggler, and the other one on uh, eggs. I cured them up differently this, this time, just a one batch to see how they'd work, and they would work pretty good, I'd say, because on the second cast in this spot right here, I hooked one. Chrome bright, 10 pound hen, and I have to let them go. Oh, that's depressing. But I haven't hooked another one since. I didn't have my GoPro on. I had it in my backpack. So the first one I did with a phone and that eh, came out okay. Didn't come out perfect, but it came out okay. You can see the fish. But hopefully uh, we can hook another one. I haven't, the one I hooked in here, I actually saw it roll from down below. That's why I came up here. But I haven't seen another fish roll in the seam, but I've caught kings in here and I've caught silvers in here. Kind of hoping to see some chums start to porpoise because they should be in here if they're coming. But everything's been kind of late this year, so maybe they're late too. I'd like to play with them. But some people down river down by uh, Jim's Rock, I saw some fish splooshing down there. We'll just keep uh, trying to see if we can get another one to sit, sitting in the middle of the seam right here. Running a float and eggs through here. You never know. I went up to the Wallace and looked, but I it was looked there's not a lot of people up there, but the fish I saw, I I'm not interested even fucking with. Most of them were dark boots as far as I'm concerned. I did see one monster king on the other side over there, just going bonkers. He's probably uh, looking for a mate. We'll just keep fishing this little seam right here and hopefully another one will roll through. I said, I'm looking for steelhead, but I don't care what I get to play with. I just want to play with fish. I debated on staying down by Monroe where I've seen a lot of fish down there. But I wanted to come up here and see what the Wallace looked like. Went to the hatchery and it's got fish in it. Most of them look like boots. A lot of dead fish in the hatchery too. A lot of fish with mold all over them. It's usually a sign of them. Warm water. A lot of that is May Creek and it's warm. Should be cold now, but kind of hoping there's another one sitting right there. That's where I hooked that one. That's where you hook kings in here too, that one little spot. But you usually don't get a lot of fish hold right there. You just get one here and one there. And humpy eggs do not stay together very long. <laughs> get a few casts out of them and they're done. Just keep fishing this seam over and over and hopefully another one will be in there. Like I said, I haven't seen another one porpoise in here or roll or twitch or do anything. And it's noon now. I gotta go home and mow the yard. I'm really hoping to hook one more. Nothing like the old days. The old days I'd have had my limit be done right now. Yeah, it wasn't even the old days, three years ago. Last year we weren't allowed to keep any. The year before that we could keep two. Now we're not allowed to keep any again. Unless it's hatchery and the hatchery does not produce enough fish to, to unless you want to go fish the walrus. And like I said, a lot of the fish I saw were boots. I'm sure there's some still nice fish in there, but I saw a lot of boots. And that's not what I'm looking for. I like the Cromers. They fight way better. The one I hooked in here jumped three or four times too. And I don't think there's another one in here.
I was going to go back and fish that other spot below me, but that guy down there has been throwing rocks in the water. I don't know what he's doing. He's trying to fish, but he keeps throwing rocks. An interesting way to fish. Fast way to spook everything out of there. Give it a few more casts. I got a couple of globs of eggs left and I'm done. I'm not going to use up the other skein yet. I'll wait till this weekend. Might go up in Ron and Jan's backyard. They live on the Wallace. I haven't seen another fish below me or above me or anywhere else in here twitch. It's not good. Seagulls are having a smorgasbord though. I'll tell you one thing, it smells bad up here now. It smells bad. There are hundreds of dead rotten humpies now. And it smells. But it's a good smell. It used to smell like this from humpies and kings and chums. All the animals had stuff to eat. Not anymore. Well, we'll turn this back on if I hook something. 